Hey guys, so I'm here with a review on these John Morrill uh, smoked sausages. These come from Dollar Tree. Um, everything at Dollar Tree now is like $1.25. Um, but these are the Polish sausages made with chicken and pork since 1827. I've ate these before. They're good. I'm going to take these to work with me tomorrow. Not both packages, obviously, but some of it. Um, so I'm going to cook this along with some uh, okra. And I have like two things left of the taco meat, but I'm wanting something different tonight for tomorrow. So I'm going to cook this. And then meanwhile, I'm going to do a review for this for you guys. So let's get started. So I was asked why I cut my head off when I'm like reviewing this stuff or if I'm doing like a cooking video. Well, the reason being is because I just like kind of like getting the video on like the product that I'm cutting up or whatever. I don't really mind that my face is showing. And I apologize if that bothers you, bothers you guys. But I would have to step back way back here to like show my face. Because I'm, I film this stuff on my phone. So, and then Oakville is wanting out right now. Go figure on that while I'm cooking. So, I'm just going to cut these up in... Kind of big bites. And then we're gonna do this one here. Oh, but what you doing, girl? And then I'm just going to put some oil in the pan. I'm going to fry this stuff up. I'm going to put a little of um, spices to it. And that's that. I have this little thing of onion left from the other night. So I'm also going to cut this little bit up. It's not a lot, but... It'll be enough for to give it taste. So I'm gonna use that up, keep from wasting it. Oil in there, and we're just gonna put that in and let it start to cook. Add it. some onion powder to this. Quite a bit. Garlic powder. Quite a bit. I'm also gonna add some pepper. Quite a bit. The next thing that I have are these TJ Farm Select Cut Okra. Um, there is 10 ounces in here. This okra is really good. Um, and again, Dollar Tree. We like this stuff here. So I figured I would kind of do a quick review on it. This okra starting out, I'm just going to add salt and pepper to it and get it cooking. Instead of coating it with a lot of um, cornmeal, I'll cook it like this first and then I'll add a little bit of cornmeal on top of it to like give it like a little, a little bit of coating. I used to roll it in cornmeal. But this here, I don't. The fresh cornmeal, I would roll. And then I'll just let this cook for a while. And then I'll sprinkle some cornmeal on it, stir it, and then like let it cook a little bit more, sprinkle a little bit, bit sprinkle a little bit more cornmeal on it, and stir it. I'm doing multi-tasking things here, so I'm kind of all over the place. multitasking. I'm cooking this stuff. 
I'm cooking me something to eat in the microwave, those leftover green beans and all that stuff. Like the little turkey bone or whatever that's in there. And I'm washing dishes. I'm doing all this crap at once. So yeah, mom's gotta hurry because it's late. I just got back from fishing and yeah, I gotta get this done with. So we're gonna add, this is how I'll do it. I'll just add a little bit of cornmeal, a little at a time, not a whole lot, and sit and let that cook. So we'll let that cook and then I'll stir it up. And then we'll just start kind of stirring this in here. This way it's not that much, I need to put a little bit more oil in here, but not that much coated with cornmeal, but you still get that taste of cornmeal. I just like doing mine this way. You can do this crispy, you can do it just kind of soft, however you want it. I'm just gonna let this cook. I'm gonna add a little bit, just a little bit more cornmeal and that's gonna be enough. So here this is, I could have got this a little bit crispier but I didn't want it crispy this time. So that's complete and then there is the sausage.